everyone! How you doing? I am so sorry, we are so late! You're not going to believe me, but it is technical problems, issues, the gremlins, again. Anyway, I'm glad that you guys are here. I don't know how many of you are here, but I'm glad that you guys are here. And um, I know it's a little bit different for you because it's a Saturday. So we're just kind of changing things up a, a little bit trying different days of the week just to see how people react and respond um fantastic topic tonight we're still carrying on from last week um we still got the phone line number is 074 967 28059 I want you guys to interact tonight. You know what? Tonight is the, the last night before we break up for Christmas. Um, so it's a special little night for us as well because, you know, this has been a podcast for us. You know, it's a podcast and it's a trial and, you know, we're just trying to ting. So, you know, I want you guys to continue to tune in we will be um coming in at some point over the christmas period or should i say the holiday period a lot of people don't like christmas a lot of people don't celebrate christmas mm -hmm. but i will say that we will be here over the holiday period and also we'll be coming on um one day in the new year um yeah so i want you guys to tune in um, we're here with the gang, with all of us, hey, all the, hey. the guys and the girls, and yeah, we're going to continue uh, what we did from last week um, with the, you know, marriage, relationship, relationship marriage, and um, what do you call it, divorce, um, prenup. Um, what else are we talking about tonight? Just let it fly. There was a whole, it was just relationships. It's yeah, just relationship, yeah. really. Part two, part two. And this is the part two of it. So, um, you know, we're just gonna because you know how we flow, we just flow, <laughs> really. Mm -hmm. Um, we don't have a, a you know, no board or anything telling us what we're going to be talking about next or anything like that. So, we just go with the flow. Um, as I said, it's about relationships once again. Um, who wants to kick off tonight? Is quick kicking off tonight? Which one of you girls? I just want to guy? say before we begin, I really apologise for last week and the quality if you went onto the Facebook. And we're hoping we've fixed it tonight. Mm -hmm. So please, please, if, we, if you are having any problems, let us know if there's any technical problems so that at least we are, we are aware before it goes out. Um, so I suppose I could kick off tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I sent the ladies something in the week <laughs> and it was a meme I saw and it says basically before you get married, these are some of the things that you should have Think at least about. thought about. Yeah. So discuss bills, parenting styles, credit, debt, religion, how to deal with family, what belief will be installed in your children, mm -hmm. childhood traumas, sexual expectations, partner expectations, financial expectations, family health history, mental health history, bucket list, dream home, careers and education, political views and whatever else comes to mind. Love is not enough. 100% no. respect and, and agree with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, to me that sounds like enough. Love no things. man, no, there's certain conversations me, it that need to like be enough. had. It is, but it's necessary in order to make it work. Absolutely. I think if you haven't touched upon these subjects and then you try and touch upon them and you find out that years down the line your partner don't even agree with your, your parenting styles yeah. are different. Or I want to buy a property, his credits mash up. Like, all of these things, mm -hmm. you need, we just need to know where we're at, at so we're making yeah. an informed decision. Mm -hmm. nice. Nice. Like, I can't see myself marrying a man who eats meat. And if we don't have those convos, 
it, it, it would have worked the way I want to raise my children, the way I live my life. If we're not aligned, what are we doing with marriage? It's not going to work. Yeah, that's mm. true. Yeah. That is true. Well, you uh, both have been married. Is this something that you... I mean, you were quite... How old were you roughly when you got married? Um, in your 20s? I was quite... 23. Oh, because she's a baby. Quite young. You've always, she's always been mature. I've yeah, known her from day. Woman, she's always... I like, call her old spirit, but like... You mean, is it something that was discussed? Did you just, because obviously it was, a, it was all new and you're young. Yeah. Did you have these kind of conversations? Yeah, did you discuss all of the things I don't think we, no, I don't think we did. We probably touched on a few of them, but I don't feel like we did. Um, we're fortunate that we're kind of on the same wavelength already. Okay. Um, but yeah, probably having that would have been great because we would have been really setting a lot of stuff in stone beforehand. As I said, we've been fortunate and it's worked. But I think for some people, maybe who it doesn't work for, maybe if they did use that structure to start their relationship, maybe it yeah, would go further. Yeah, I suppose so. I've, I've been um, married twice. Mm. Uh, my first marriage... Um, How old was you, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I think oh, 29 or something like that. Okay, still young. 29. 20s, yeah. Um, yeah, about 29. When I got um, married the first time, and um, you know, I known him for a very long time. We were like friends first, and then you know, then we formed a relationship. Um, but there was nothing of what you've mentioned that we ever discussed. How long were you friends, if you don't mind me asking? We were friends before we got mad. We were friends for about 10 years. Okay, so I would say naturally in that 10 years of friendship, although you didn't sit there and have a clipboard and say tick, tick, mm -hmm. tick, you would have had an understanding about his lifestyle. Yes, how I his did. mentality, I did. his aspirations. Mm -hmm. So you would have data gathered that in 10 years anyway. Mm -hmm. You yeah. just didn't sit there with True. a clipboard and, and mm -hmm. tick it off. Do you get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But I, I but the, once, once we got married, there was a lot of things that, I realised that I didn't know. So you feel like maybe you would have benefited. Yeah, so I probably would depth. have benefited for something like that because there was lots of things that I thought, oh, well, I didn't realise that you felt like that mm -hmm. or you even thought that because it was something that we never discussed. All oh, right. Mm -hmm. I would even argue, forget just marriage, like so many of us would just have Children is a bigger commitment in some respects than That's marriage. Like, and, <laughs> like, some of us are just having children with people we don't even know who we're having children with. Forget marriage, I could come out of that. I could yeah. come out of that any given time Can't and live my best kids. life. Once I've chosen you as a parent, the other half to me, and this is what we're doing, there's no going back. But here we are now, 18 years and beyond. So those kind of conversations as well need to be had in this, I'd say it's more important if you're dealing with children. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Definitely. Definitely. Children do play a major, major role in your life. And children not something that you can give back. Well, this is yeah. it. This is it. And you can't trade them in. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> so got an alert one. about, um, so someone saying the, the second time the camera froze or something and the sound cut out, so... I'm hoping now everything's all right. Please let us know, people. Are we clear? Are informed. we? Let us know. See us let us well. know. Cause we don't know because we're live. Do not swear. <laughs> don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> and don't swear, Madame Michelle. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so okay. yeah. So now we want to hear your side of it. What do you think? about that list no i just think that it shouldn't just be a list for marriage like it should be a list for in general before you're gonna date someone you need to know certain things especially if you're gonna have a mm -hmm. child with them yes. you need yeah. to know these things because yes. you'll end up a single father like me or you'll end up a single mum, like a lot of these girls out yeah. here because yeah. they don't know the partner who they're laying down mm -hmm. with it's just a momentary thing mm -hmm. and then a baby comes from that and then it's a whole load of madness after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. And broken families and all sorts of things like that. So to prevent that yeah. from happening, we should really get that clipboard out and start. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to see a passport. I want to see a credit rating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to see everything <laughs> before we <laughs> do anything. Kira, can I ask on a level, and if it's invasive, just shut me down. Are you single at the moment? Yeah. Okay, so 
realistically, when you're out there, obviously you're in the... You're wait, out wait, there wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I saying? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm single, but I'm seeing someone. I just have to put that out there. Oh, I like that. that. That's <laughs> really respectful. I, I don't like that. that. I have to put that out there. No, it's respectful. You're getting to know somebody. You're getting to know somebody and it could potentially be more. And he's being respectful. What does that mean? I don't get that. No, I don't know. What does that mean? Do you know what? Well, mum, it's something in between a relationship and a situationship. Remember last week, situationship? Yes. It's something in between that. So I'm not funding her and giving her money to live her lifestyle, which is a situationship. But I am taking her out. Oh, so I am giving her money. But I'm not but I'm not in a relationship with her. Like, you know what I'm saying? So she hasn't met you dating. yet. She hasn't come to dinner yet. She ain't met Kamira mm. yet. So, you know, we're, we're just in the middle of the dating right now. Dating. So have you what we've discussed in terms of obviously not the exact list, but mm -hmm. things that you would deem important to potentially someone you'd want to settle with. Are you already starting the ball rolling with the these types of started. conversation? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. okay. The process has started with that. So, okay. you know, we're going through certain things of, are we compatible in yes. certain ways? Do we have a lot of things in common? Like, all these things are very, very important. They might seem, like, trivial, but they're important. You know, so that's that's what the process that I'm going through right now. Have you got any that are, like, non-negotiable? Because I am a firm believer, whilst I do see the benefit, and I think it's really important to have these types of conversations... Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want a carbon copy of myself. And right. sometimes opposites, you they know, you, you, where attract. I'm lacking, they mm -hmm. may bring and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So are there some things where you say, you know what, these are my main things and certain things I can... Um, well, you don't even have to list them off to me. But my like, only real main thing is that they, if, if I do get into a real relationship with them, they have to accept my daughter, they have to accept Kamara, and they have yeah. to treat her properly, and they have to deal with her properly, yeah. because that is that is where everything will mash up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think that's the one non-negotiable thing that has to be done. Okay, so she could, okay. she could be the perfect so, person in the world, but she said, look, I just don't view children. And that's, that would and that's be game over. Work. I understand that. Understand. Yeah. Okay, so just comments again about the um, quality. So, Someone, Barbara, thank you for letting us know. Thank you, Auntie Barbara. Says, keeps freezing every now and again. Um, and Shams, thank you as well. Nice and clear, but it's constantly freezing. And also another person said freezing. So, I don't know if we, we don't know, know what this freezing is I feel like this is about. a Facebook, unfortunately, um, issue. It could be a Facebook issue. We're uh, sorry. With the glitch. Yeah. Um, well, what I can say is that um, after this, We've got a separate video recording, so there'll be a cleaner version uploaded to YouTube later on. So that's what I can tell you. Okay, cool, cool. So you lot, let me ask you something, yeah? And I know I sound, I'm gonna sound mad with what I'm gonna say. But we're gonna, I wanna talk about prenups, okay? okay. okay. <laughs> Firstly, before, yeah. before I... <laughs> <laughs> Good old prenup. <laughs> <laughs> what are we saying? Are we are we yaying a prenup or naying a prenup? I am yaying a prenup because okay. I have one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, How did your I'm partner feel that, about I'm it? That, that mum does, but I don't. I'm, I'm not going to do no prenup if I do choose to get married because that's what I'm saying. It's again, you've got to take them vows seriously. You're not taking them vows seriously if you're doing a prenup. Like, I'm going to half spud work. you on it. Don't it. work. Half no, spud me, half spud me. Half spud me, half spud me. No, 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 you'll understand what That's my take on it, that's no, no, my take on it. No, no, but I respect it. it. If I, I love a girl even... that much that I'm willing to put the ring on her finger, what is the point of the prenup? I respect it, I respect it. But when you hear my madness, then you'll understand okay. why I said okay, half. But I respect that wholeheartedly. What are you saying? What are you saying, Leech? Okay, so should this, before we go to prenup, because this is on the last subject, um, just to answer Barbara, so she says, but for a lot of people, it's sexual attraction before even going on the clickboard list. So I'm I'm assuming, Barbara, you mean that basically people are not... It's about looks. Yeah, their sexual mm -hmm. attraction, and I suppose it becomes yeah. a sexual relationship before mm -hmm. we're even yeah. thinking about yeah. the list of things. As you get older, you understand that that's really not the best foot forward. No, yeah, no, it's no, really no, not. It's not. It's not. It's really not the best foot forward, yeah. so... Um, but I hear what you're it saying. It happens, though. It does happen more no, than no. Than, yeah. yeah, of course, of course. Um... Um, Tessel number 0749672809. Please give us a call and join in. 
Give us your opinions. Give us Leave your them. opinion. Here, I Let hear us from hear you. Prenup. You're a married lady. Have you got yourself a prenup? Yeah. <laughs> no, because we never had nothing. When we had There was no need. <laughs> there was no need. <laughs> so we built Take for you. Yeah, we built for that. Right. That's how it should be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do so, you feel about them, though? Um, 2021, how do you feel about it? I understand why a person might want to bring up and I, I hear what Kieran was saying in regards to, you know, people not taking things seriously, but the sad thing is we just don't know what the other person is thinking. Yeah, they could yeah. come across as the so most angelic, nice. lovely person, all things going well, all things going good, and then there's just something that crops up along the line and then two twos. Have like, you not know, ever yeah. watched that movie? Was it called Fall from Grace? No, is that what? the Tyler like Perry? Is that the Tyler yeah, Perry? Yes, that Tyler Perry one. I feel like I have a friend. Yeah, because she fell in love with a younger guy, isn't it? Younger <laughs> guy. He was so nice. I'm sorry, what my, I to? did an accent from nowhere. I don't what know happened? where it came from. No, don't mind me. What don't happened? mind me. Don't, <laughs> don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm, yeah, I'm younger here. guy. The guy was so nice. He did everything right. And then what happened? He was only after her money. So, he treated her, he started to bring Gal in the yard yeah. after after he married her. This is I think he was planning it with his aunt or he something. Planned oh, his mom. With his mom. Mom. Yeah. It was his mother's friend. Uh-uh. Yeah. And he planned it, they both planned it to get her money and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. So, see, on things like that, I can completely understand. It's sad, but it's the world we live it in happens. today. It, it happens. happens. Yeah. On a level, yeah, you lot are going to think, like, this is what I'm Gemini in it, so duality, the twins. The, I'm very split. Hand on my heart. <laughs> Make my significant other slide a contract over to me and tell me to sign it. <laughs> Take back the ring. Because I kind of respect what you're saying. If I marry you, it's because I don't see an end. That's and right. I don't even like the idea that we've got a That's contingency plan forever. for when okay. we're not together. Yeah. However. Yeah. However. <laughs> however. You see me and the things I've worked for. <laughs> Anything exactly. I had before I got with you. Baby, you know I love you. I'm not going nowhere. But you're going to sign my things. You know, I've worked too hard. This is it. If you come to... You come to my prenup is whatever I had before I met you is mine. Anything that we get after is ours. And do you know what it is? My heart's clean, so I'd never do him dirty. But like things like if I've got my home and those kind of but no, we're gonna protect that. But I ain't going anywhere anyway. But try to respect you are (laughs) by by sliding over a paperwork to me. We might as well just start on the dance. Listen, I know a friend of mine that she was uh, with someone. And um, she wanted to buy a house. He was not interested. He said, I don't, I'm not interested in buying a house. She went ahead, bought this house. A couple of years down the line, they got, they got married. Yeah. Maybe about seven years after that, um, things wasn't working out and they got a divorce. Now he said to her, you know, I want some of that house. You know, you need to give me off. He he ain't got no integrity though. No, but she, he, she she had to. Mm. No, I get it legally. Yeah. She had to give him. No, but I, um, I would hope that the, the caliber of man I'm with him. Would, would know that it's not his She's got children and, and everything for out. him. She'd been with him for out. years. And he still did that to her. And so, as someone okay. you've all had a family with. That's heartbreaking. Yeah, but you've got children. It happens. It happens. Really look, look at I'm Stevie J. I'm taking um, Faith to court and getting spouses Shut to court. Shut up, are they divorcing? Yes. Stevie J and Faith Evans. Stevie J's asking her for spousal support. In fiesty. Wow. No, he's out of order. Men are face. Obviously, women do it as well. But but a man doing it, and you got no pride. No, but that's not the only man I knew that did. What's the um, Mary J's man? Did he? Yes, and and, he and done the people well. that weren't even her he, children. He, he done it as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 You see men what I'm are saying? So so even why? though they had a prenup, he's still asking for spousal support. Mm-hmm. There's still ways around it. But let's not concentrate yeah. on America because I kind of find them like lawyer happy. They sue. For, Every, for everything, they shoot for everything. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, it's true. It's just, it's true. Uh, okay. It gets foolish out there. Have the we way got they somebody? Uh, some... Yeah, just saying, I'll understand if some want to do it because a lot of people are not into marital things. I think, is that now? Are now into marital things? Yeah? Yeah, is that it? Secretary? Okay. Is, that, is, that, is that how it, is that what is they that said? On, Say that again. Read it again. To marital things. I'll understand if some want to do it because a lot of people are now into 
Oh, material. 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 Yeah, material. yeah it looked like yeah. it says marital, but yeah. yeah. Material things. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people it's that true. are so very get materialistic. And, um, you know, they go into it because of that. You know, they only date people that are have a certain amount of money. Things, yeah. They mm. only do, you know, they don't, you know, some it's men, they don't this. date women that don't have anything. And there's some women that don't date men that don't have anything. Mm. Because you know they what say, I heard the other day, though? Like, I think I must have seen it on Instagram as you're scrolling. But they were like, um, a man's currency is money and a woman's currency is beauty. So, therefore, mm. like... And I thought it was wrong because I I've never in my life um, decided whether or not a man was a worthy partner for me based on what he's where you are now isn't where you end. Do you get what I mean? So if you're not in the greatest position or you're not where you want to be, I'll help you get there. Or you know you got your aspirations, but they tried to imply that you know men are meant to be like we're meant to be going for the men with money. And they're out yeah. there trying to go for the spiciest they're, ones they're out women. there. And yeah, yeah. We're just all using our currency to get by exactly. and get what we want mm-hmm. in life. Which I understood as a universal language. I, couldn't I mean, I do understand that people want to get places, get somewhere in life. But I don't see why people don't want to work to, together to mm-hmm. get what you're going to get. Do you see what I mean? I if you, people can nobody, work together and achieve. Want, no, no woman don't want no broke man. She don't want to grind up with you. She wants you when that's not true. She don't. She, they're, they're, I'm talking about. True. I'm talking about the little girls that's running around these days. I don't know. Yeah, about but we're not dealing with. We don't deal with pygmy. We deal with grown folk. Grown folk. It just. It, everyone's different, isn't it? Like I think I once had a conversation with a person who was like, if a man has a, doesn't earn this amount and he don't have a yeah, house and he don't. And at this. first I was. It's wrong with me, but I was a bit judgy. But actually, why am I judging her? If that's her standard. That that's she's the there, standard. And People she wasn't like necessarily that. a lazy person who went out there grinding, but she's earning a certain level. She wants her man to come. And I don't think that's a bad so thing. Her. Each to their yeah. own. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Regardless. Money ain't a dirty word. I'm, like, I'm you know? Not, I'm, regardless of saying all of that, I'm still not signing a prenup. Yeah, if they if she if she um divorces me, she can have half of my five hundred pound overdraft. <laughs> and, you know what I'm we can take it from there. Do you know what I'm saying? Because uh, if I, if I sign them papers for richer, for poorer, for sickness and health, can you can take it, fifty. Bro. It's how it goes. All right, Kevin, let me drop it, it to you like this because you got a you got Bubba, right? So you've worked hard, you've bought a property. This property, God forbid, anything happens to you, that property goes to your baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. You marry someone that you met from just, you know, you well win, you know, fell in love, we're just so in sync. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to protect. Because remember, it's not just about you now. This no. Way, it's your offspring. And I know mm-hmm. often when these conversations come up, it tends to be from people who have offspring. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, they're just trying to make sure their babies They've aren't going hungry. Yeah. It should the worst happen. Yeah. Does that not change your mind in any respect? It don't, it don't change my mind because if I'm going into that commitment, Kamira's coming with me and we both have to suffer the consequences, unfortunately. The marriage is an important thing. Like, if I think that this person is not for me, I'm not going to put that ring on their finger. Marriage is a chance. You go into it, you take a chance. It's just like relationship. Anything can happen. Anything. It's just like relationship. Chance. Anything's a chance. So if you're willing to take that chance with that person, then... You know, some could argue that's quite selfish, though, because you can take that chance when it's just your life you're gambling with. But now we're talking I'm, about. I'm, um, remember, already in our community, there's a problem with generational wealth. You understand? So what we're trying to do is make sure that our wealth transpires throughout, yeah. and, and potentially now, someone that you made a mistake with. I mean, people change. We're human. Mm-hmm. Who I was at seventeen, I wasn't at twenty-seven. Who I am at twenty-seven, I'm definitely not at thirty-seven. We change, and in that change, sometimes we grow apart. It's like mm-hmm. we have to be. A, there has to be an element of being realistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So with that said, if you have, in my mind, if I have a dependent. The gambles are a lot bigger now because the stakes the are not are just about bigger, me. Me, I've I've given my life to my daughter and raised my my daughter through my twenties and through my thirties. So when I get to my forties and my fifties and I'm ready to get married, that's nothing for me. A yeah. hundred. I, 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 I I'll give Kamara everything she wants whenever she wants it. But you see, when it comes to love, you have to separate love from from that. Do you know what I'm saying? To you? My love for my daughter, nothing ain't gonna touch that. But when I got a different love for a woman, when I'm gonna put a ring on her finger, that's a ride. Kamara has to come on a roller coaster. It might go off course. 
but it's a roller coaster ride that we both have to and ride together. I think what Michelle's trying to say is that it's security. Yeah, this I is think it. It's the security, the security of it. And, and of that it. I was going to find It's horrible to talk home. about. There's going to be a day when you're not here, and you want to hold mm. that when you're not here. Your child is a dog, and nothing. If we can give our children that yeah. head start because we were financially thinking ahead. Because you often hear stories of people who have suddenly passed away and mm-hmm. then the partners come in now and they've just taken everything and the kids and don't get the children nothing. nothing. A true nothing. story, nothing. yeah, a true nothing. story. My, my ex-partner, one of my exes, his auntie passed away out of nowhere. She didn't, she just got married to this Jamaican guy, um, weren't together too long. She had one son, just one son. She owned a property. Best believe when she passed away, the husband took the property, the car, the money, mm-hmm. didn't give nothing to her one and only son that she had worked only hard and raised her. Mm-hmm. Come on. Okay, so when okay. I hear pitfalls like that, I can lo- love it enough. I can love you. We're going to ride. We're going to have a great life. But should I not be here, I just want to categorically exactly. know without exactly. a shadow of a doubt that that and this is, is why, my to me, that's so important. Yeah. <clears throat> that I secure my children. Mm. I secure them. Still no matter what, premium. my children will be secured. Yeah, but I hear where um, you're coming from. And I, 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 don't, I don't, it don't change my mind, no matter what you lot no, are saying. It don't no, change my mind. It doesn't. It's, no, it's, it's, it's not even say, here to change your mind. It's just putting it is food for thought on the to table. Have, for you to have that conviction as a young black man, it's it's lovely to see. Yeah, absolutely. Because there's not enough mm-hmm. of black men out there like that. No, yeah. Some of them no. will just be like, nah, yeah, get a prenup because they're not sure. But to have that sureness about you, that's great. It's great to see. And I think, obviously, I co-sign your point that if we're already at a point where I've chosen to spend my Mm. life with you, we ain't even got to have a backup plan for it if we don't because a lot of thought... We've got you've done, we've done everything to get to this That's point right. here. Right. Yeah, so I'm not even trying to see that situations change to a relationship. Well. Mm-hmm. Yes. So mm-hmm. you may feel like this now, but you might be in a situation where you think, actually, you know what. And it's all right to change, and it's all right to think. Yeah, people change all the time. Yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. the same as you was when you're 18. You're not yeah. the same when you're 28. You're not the same when you're 30. I'm worried if people you are. Change. You need to you're grow and evolve. You're grown. Yeah. You're just, I'm just saying that, you know, them, them vows, they, they mean a lot. Like, Nanny always said, like, them, them vows, when you take them vows, like, it's for life. Yeah. Like, you know, and, and a lot of people are not, they're not taking it that seriously. Yeah. They're really yeah. taking it for granted. And it's not, it's not. Because there's loopholes. We're in such a disposable society. Like, boom, I don't want you anymore. And I can go on Instagram and I can jump in a DM and I can go on an app and I can, I can mm-hmm. literally window shop for Panani. Mm-hmm. Excuse my language. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's just it's that everything's it's so true. disposable. It's true. It's true. And I don't it's feel true. like the same it's values yeah. are, are there it's that they once were because it's everything's true. just. It's true. In today, out tomorrow. That it mentality. Is, it, is, it, yeah. is true. it is true. Okay, so um, someone's saying, there are now a lot of men now asking for their wives to pay out when they are divorcing. Yes. Adele, etc. and many more. The world is materialistic. How would you ask your partner to sign a prenuptial contract? That's a very good question. Because it's well, it's it goes back to what we were discussing. You should, if you're aligned and you've had all yeah, you have to have that conversation with your partner from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's really? not something. Our beginning. Yeah, our it's beginning. not something. You know, when you decide that you're going to be, you know, an a item, couple. a couple okay, yeah, with yeah, this yeah, person, yeah, 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 yeah. and then you let them know that this is the situation. And this is what I'm expecting, you know. You don't know, sit right you don't have me. to I'll say. I'll be vexed if a woman came to me and told me about any prenup. I'll be vexed. And I feel like I that. Would I would off. be vexed if a man asked. I would I'll really. Yeah, but, I think, but I think it shouldn't really matter because if you know that your intentions are good, it doesn't matter because. Whether you've got a prenup or you don't have a prenup, it doesn't matter. I love you and I want to be with you. So if it doesn't matter, they should dash it in the bin. It doesn't matter then. If it doesn't matter. I mean, in the back of your head, you're thinking things because you've got the piece of paper out there and you want me to sign it. Yeah, but it doesn't doesn't matter. So potentially you you feel I could take your things. And, and that's what you think of me as the woman that you're about to make your wife and take well, her name. Sorry, this is where writing a will comes into play. So yes, that, yeah, I, I, think agree that that. Be I agree with that. I agree with that. A neater way of yes. doing things because yeah. at least with your will now, you've yeah. assigned. It's almost like a, a prenup, but not to the extent of okay, 
you're my partner, but you're not getting this. It's like, well, I'm actually leaving this to this person yeah. rather than it being about... But yeah, some I, of them, I don't they know contest the law wills properly. and stuff like that. They contest I was going to say, because I don't know the law properly, hmm. if I... Let's just reverse it. So I marry a man who's got a property. Hmm. We've now been married 10 years. He's got this will and he's got children that he had before me and obviously the property is going to his children. If I've lived in that yard 10 years and I've been contributing by law, well, he, I'm entitled to a no, but that yard. Like, a will is legal. It could, but I could contest it, though. That's what I'm saying. That I've it been living be here and contributing, helping pay the mortgage. And I know like, that's happened to loads here. of people. They've had put it in their will and they've been married for over 10, 12, 13, 15 years. And then when that will comes now, when the person dies... The people contest it and said, no, I have contributed to I wonder if the will home. has been actually updated because often some people just have a will and think, right, they that will's No, they don't. It. A lot of people, and especially like older people, So it's not yeah. that the they will was update. the issue, it's just that they haven't they been on board it. on they the will. The same with insurances, like, that's what people do, that, yeah, I'm insured, I'm fine, how many years down the line the person did, actually, no, the insurance didn't even cover that because they yeah. never, ever checked it. Void. So <laughs> it, it's, it's one of those things too, every little change in your life, you've got to update your will um and there was a yes a will needs to be written whilst you have mental capacity yep indeed yeah yeah so just to end it i'm i'm just contradicting myself but <laughs> yay <laughs> yay if i've got teams and children that are dependent on being damn <laughs> give me a sign i'll put the x there and the x there and i'll even put a heart to show it's all with love <laughs> But try do that in reverse, and we've got a problem. Honestly, I'm really sensitive. That would really, really. It would. I'm so just sitting there thinking. I'm both. I'm sensitive and selfish. Yeah. But I, it would hurt. Honestly, it would really hurt my mm. feelings that he would. Because in my mind, I'd just be thinking, you don't see forever with me. You've got a backup plan for if we don't work out. Whereas I'm when I say I do. Yeah, and I hear you. If I've got things, oh, it's gonna be forever. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yes, contradictory, but it you. is what it is. That's what I feel. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I still, I'm still sticking by my guns with the prenup. I'm not, um, I mean, I've got one, as I said, and I'm not changing. I mean, I feel that I need to secure, um, my children, especially as an older woman. Mm. Yeah. And, um, you just have to secure yourself these days. That's what I think. So with a prenup, because I've never seen one, I don't know how they work. Yeah. Is it a case that you have to update that too or because yeah that has to be updated oh. and you can change because they, it because then now you can change the prenup at any time right so the prenup is void then yeah you can change it at any time okay you so we update it because you update it as you go along because you know it's like a marriage is kind of like honeymoon period as well you know you start off we get married mm-hmm. everything's all nice and sweet and then maybe two three years down the line you think to yourself oh <gasps> what have I done? Like, this person is not who I thought they were going to be. Do you know what I mean? And so, therefore, you can update your prenup. Yeah? Because okay. the reason or, I asked that is because we already Where they don't sign your update, can they refuse to sign your update? And yeah, they can. And it makes it void they and can. only the first they can. one would be... They can refuse But it. the reason yeah. I, I brought it up is because, remember, we said, okay, the prenup was before, before we were together. Now we're together... And if we're updating this prenup, it almost seems like no. The prenup, the, no, the <laughs> prenup, the prenup is when you get married, just before you get yeah. married. Yeah, yeah, but if you're updating it through the duration of the marriage, yeah, what does course. that say about the state of the marriage? No, like you're no, like, no, 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 no. Let me just you, protect that if you're, all, if just your in case. partner, if your partner's good for that, you never need to update. You never even need to look at it again. Okay. Yeah. You don't even need to look and at it. And then you'd be building together, so anything that has been be made within the marriage anyway, is a 50 so anyway. Okay. It doesn't matter. But, you So, know. Any, any potential fiancé, if you know what's bad, I beg, just abandon any fault. <laughs> <laughs> abandon it. Abandon. It wouldn't even be worth the headache. Don't. <laughs> Yeah. Don't do it. Say it. <laughs> I would never let you rip it down. Mm. Never. Oh seven oh seven four nine six seven two eight zero five nine. Give us a call. Okay, so living with someone for six months or more by law, half or is or basically everything is half. So, yeah. And um 
someone says when you get married all previous wills need to be amended as soon as they become out of date yeah 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 mm -hmm. with everything and i must say with everything pre-insurance head to any time you have a change if you have a baby if you update buy a new your house ish. yeah update your stuff you have to mm -hmm. update everything update your stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's for sure well, the next topic so what's the next topic then weren't we talking about infidelity earlier in the week cheating cheating mofos cheating. <laughs> 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 i need to get up i said yeah, we're so talking about then, cheating. What, what about cheating? What about cheating? What about it? How comes though, on a level, and maybe it's just me, and maybe I've just had some bad luck in my life, but I just feel like women are really more open to giving some a man a second chance, but you see a man, let him find out that you were with someone not him, and I swear to God, you will never hear from him again. <laughs> but what is that? Why is it that women, you know, you hear some women, a certain friend, you just think, oh, oh, you rub their back as they tell you for the ninth time. The ninth time, how much time they might cheat on them. But, but then two twos, let that woman do that to her man and she will never see it. Like, what is that? Keep in chat to me because you're the only man what's here. That? What's, that? what's that? What's that? I can't, I can't tell you, you know, all I know. I told you like, last week that men are emotional creatures. Yeah. Too emotional. Like, you know what I'm saying? If, if somebody, if you was to go out and cheat, that would be it. That would just be it, man. Why? I don't want to so see you. I don't want to talk to you again. I don't even want to. I don't even want to see you again. Like that's how that's how I'm going on. Yeah, but I know, and I know that it's contradictory. I know all of that, but why is it contradictory? Because if I was to do it to a woman, I would expect her to forgive me. Yeah, fierce fear, fear, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but if she did it, then you know what I'm saying to you. I'm all ready to um, like I said last week, I'm all ready to go on myself and all. One like I'm gonna jump off the bridge. I know, I know, I know, things like that. Like the world's gonna end. Like the world, the world's gonna end all of a sudden. But when she does it now, I expect her to forgive me. And this is all men. This is any man that yeah, says that they're I, not, they're lying. Like, and that's just it, really. There's no excuse. We're just emotional. There's no excuse for it. We're just really, so, we're more, way more emotional than girls are. We just don't like to admit. Is it then okay the way in which you cheat then? So therefore, if a if a man cheats, it's just about sex. And if a woman cheats, then there's a connection. Yeah, she's in love with that. If she, if she, no, <laughs> it's, 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 it's women. It's it's women. If they cheat, <laughs> if they cheat, yeah, then they are being spiteful. They, um. they got feelings for that person, and they know what they're doing. You see, a man, yeah, he just thinks of his witty. No, do you know what I'm gonna yeah. give him? They don't, no, even, they don't even care. They don't no, even I care. Agree. They really don't care. No, no. I agree. I agree. So I agree. I agree. I agree. The, the, yeah, but why are they so weak? I don't understand Sex why is men are so to weak. Sex men, whereas for women, mm -hmm. it's a, a, a very intimate. Sorry, you know? sorry, we backtrack a little bit. It's because as well, we get a delay when we get some of the messages. But um, someone just said, "Living with someone does not give you any entitlement." Oh, that's that. I'm not sure if that's completely don't give true. you no entitlement yeah. to nothing. That's living with someone does not. Well, how long? How yeah, long? How long, long have you been long, living but together? But for how, how long? Yes, they do because I, I know there's people that live with people yeah. and don't marry them and still get. All you have to do is it, prove um, that you contributed. What do you call it? What do you call it mm -hmm. when you're um, true. when you're that's not true. married to that person and you common wife? No, there's another name. Cohabitating. Someone's ringing. We have a friend. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, is it me, you lot? Let me just... Oh, no, someone's sure. ringing. No, no it's one of you lot. Someone's buzzing off. No, my phone's on airplane mode. Yeah. No, no, someone's it. ringing. It's not this one. Maybe it's one of your phones, man. It's not this one, though. This one's not ringing. Someone is ringing. Okay. Whoever's phone in, mum's phone. Holla later. Holla back in the house. Holla back in the house. 0749 Phone the hotline. Do not call mummy's phone. <laughs> what he told you. <laughs> Zero seven. Let's say it nicely. Zero seven. I've got to tell them aggressively because they're not listening. Four nine six seven. Two eight zero five nine, and it should be, and that's the hotline. Don't ring my phone, please, because I can't answer it. My phone is what we're streaming of. 
So that's why I cannot answer the phone. But ring this number 0749672059. Yeah. And yeah, we will yeah. hear it and we will answer you. And you know you're going to be on a live as well if you do ring in. Or you can send a text if you don't want to chat. Yeah, well, just send a text like to everyone, but we would really problems. like someone to ring don't, in. Don't, don't be shy, you know, because you lot and mummy chat on the phone for hours. <laughs> so don't be shy to phone now. I know everybody and mummy is so chatting rude. for hours on, on the phone. He's so rude. <laughs> Just I'm, so just, I'm just keeping it real on the podcast. No, that's what it is. <laughs> Can't answer. All right. Nothing left from a corpse. Can't. <laughs> All right, so where were we now? Okay, yes. <laughs> where were we? No, you were teaching us something still. Yeah, yeah, yeah men just think with their willy. And I think all the women already know that already. So, so is it very possible for you to be in love with your partner, but just yes, sex for the sake yes, of sex? Yes, yes, it is. And I know it's very hard to understand. No, But you not. can still love your main woman. Yeah. And just go out and do oh, what we you're doing you. and still only have love for that woman. <laughs> right. Yes, it's very it's very very it's very true. So that so women should accept that. Is that no. what you're saying? No, 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 no. no women women do it because it. I am not accepting No, this that. is where the situation ship comes in. This is where the girls are saying, Look, it. I need a bag with a matching shoes. Yeah, I need what? I need my rent paid. Yeah. This is where the situation ship comes comes in. Girls are not having it no more. They're not just going to sit there and be cheated on by a man and not get nothing out of it. Can I ask you They're a They're getting question? a whole heap of things out of it now. Let me ask you something, because I have genuinely always wanted to know, yeah? For every time that you cheat on your woman and she takes you back, do you slowly start losing respect for her? Yeah, you know, we do. There's only a certain amount of, there's only a certain amount of bag and shoes that you can buy. After a while, it's just like, right, like, like, I could just cheat on her and I could just go, and I could just go, um, I could just go bar those in wood green and get her a bag and shoes. And then she's going to forgive me. So, so it's expected then. to take back, but also if you, if you keep taking back, actually, no, now you're an idiot. Well, in my opinion, I'm saying, well, I'm just, I'm just reading the way you allow them to treat you. So if I believe in the way that you allow them to treat you, a woman can only do what you allow them to do. Exactly. That's right. That's right. That is right. You only get treated the way you allow someone to treat you. Once I've been burnt by the radiator, am I an idiot again if I lean back on the same radiator that I knew that burnt me the first time? But no. then how we love, it's not so easy to disconnect it's when, not, not. I tell you something, when, when, when a woman leaves a relationship, nine times out of ten, she left you months ago mentally. Yeah. And all she's doing yes. is waiting for the, the heart and the head to be on the same page. Yeah. Yes. And just, and then she, whereas a man can do a sporadic one and just be up and out. You will find that we were plotting this for a minute. For a very long time. It's just how it is. But I just, I don't know, because I've, I've heard mad stories where, you know, oh, he's cheated again. I'm just thinking, this is like the 15th time. Yeah. And, like, surely he must be thinking, well, this is the setup. Yeah. I cheat, you ball, I get kicked out, I beg you back. I buy you a crepe or a flowers or whatever, and we do the cycle again. And somewhere along the line, it must just... I would just be thinking... Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you have to be an idiot. Oh, That's God. what I say. I'm not saying that. Cause it's, uh, no, I say... No, gray. everybody thinks differently. I feel that you must be an idiot. I, when my first husband cheated continuously on me, and I kept taking him back, and I was an idiot. Because you an I idiot was young. You wasn't an I idiot, mum. You wasn't an idiot. I felt that he First would change. First of all, shout out daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, shout out, shout out matter. Ahmed. He's yeah, because at the watching. end of the day. He's not watching. <laughs> yeah, shout out daddy anyway, yeah. But mum, you weren't an idiot though. You were just in love. It happens all the time. No, you weren't I an idiot. kept thinking that he would change. I kept thinking, well, he's been caught again. He's definitely not going to do it again. Was you were young, thing, you were learning, you I were a learning experience. Yeah. It was a learning experience. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, when we th- when we think back to the list that we had at the very beginning of the show, maybe some of those things weren't completely ticked off yet. You weren't ready. There wasn't. Yeah. We both weren't mm-hmm. ready. Yeah. 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 That's, that's probably what I wrote something as well once that said that, um, like, a, a man's pain threshold is a lot lower than a woman's, i.e., you know, you hear stories from a man 
he would just be like that one girl broke his heart back in 1989 and he's still single in 2021 because they hold on. <laughs> no, honestly, mm. honestly, because they hold, so they might just be out there sleeping with a bag of woman, but they're not committing because they were hurt that yeah. one time. Yeah. They hold on to the memory of pain yeah, and are very reluctant to do it. Whereas we, that's yeah. why we yeah, are the, the child definitely, bearers. Definitely, you know, we definitely. can have more than one child because mm-hmm. we've forgotten about that, but we're very quick. We can forget. We can be heartbroken. I like this. And, so someone says, Got a good heart, not an idiot. It's true because it's not always about. Yeah, I don't. Think That's what I said, that. man. It's Some not people, always about being an idiot. And they man, might see something within that person that they know that once that person just because sometimes there's a reason. I believe there's a so reason. So why for that everything. person can't see something in there's a reason Why they can't everything. see that you're a good person? To be putting up with them, why? No. Why can't there's a reason for, for everything? No. And some people haven't even gone through healing, shadow working, all of these things. So yeah. if you're getting into a relationship, this is where we go back to the list yeah. again. You're yeah. getting into a relationship where yeah. you're unhealed. You're not dealt with your own issues. You might then go off track. What's yeah. the saying? Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, yeah exactly. You dealt with your own so problems. exactly. I'm not saying that you shouldn't give a person a chance. I'm not saying that. But you know you can't keep giving a person a chance after chance after chance yeah. after chance. Yeah. Yeah. Something has to change. Yeah. Like you yeah? said, the fourteenth time. Why has it gotten to fourteen? Why has it yeah. got that's to too that much. point? That's too Everybody much. Yeah, that's Everybody makes some... mistakes. Nobody's perfect, and people make mistakes mm-hmm. in their lives. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how young, how old. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But you cannot keep doing the same thing over and over. And then you are an enabler because if you allow that person to keep doing it, they're gonna keep doing it. Mm-hmm. They will. I just I just think it's, obviously we've all got our own opinions, but I think it's harsh to call it like stupid because when you love someone and you're emotionally invested in them, and for women, time invested is a big thing. You know, like so the first time I was ever cheated on, I must have been in my early 20s, and I, I would have been with him about two, three years at this point. We we think to ourselves, in fact, I used to say to myself, I'm really scared to walk away and watch him become everything I wanted him to be for me. For somebody for else. For someone else. And I put in the work, I'm here. Yeah. So yeah. you hold on. Yeah. And you hold on. Like you said, you think it's going to change. I'm putting work now. I'm putting yeah. years. I'm going to check my return on investment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Often that feeds into why people stay longer and longer. I've yeah, given you, you this because, much of myself. Because I've you think they're going to change. And then what about if children involved now? And you've got children as well. Children, it could be even... What about immigration issues? Then Listen, as well? I There's remember some... my first husband, my own children said, look, mum, I think you better leave dad. I and stayed with... We were staying with together said, because we... Because yeah. the children. Mm-hmm. I was saying, like, we've got to try and work this out because we've got the kids and everything and that, right? And it came to a point where my own children said, but they that's, that's, that's where mum went wrong though because you don't, just, you don't just stay for the it's children just say, leave never him. stay just for the children leave him mum, leave him no, my it's children right. actually said that to me, leave him, it's not working mum, leave him. What you want to do is create an environment where your children are happy so whether exactly. they're happy with mummy and daddy separately that that's better than them seeing you fight like yeah. cat and dog and having to live and in that energy. And they knew I wasn't happy and it didn't make them happy because, you know, they couldn't stand to see the arguments and all that. It was, it was like, too much, point? man. Again, much. you know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out, daddy again. But you just weren't ready for mum. You weren't, you weren't ready yeah, for mum. No, yeah, you weren't married. ready for mum. <laughs> It but but I do believe nothing in life is an accident. No, definitely. So although, 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 although you say daddy children. wasn't ready for mummy, yeah. she's got her beautiful children. No, no, it's like just, me, me saying that, it's just like, that's a caveman. Mum's, she gets her nails Worldly. done, she gets her hair done, she's going out. She's that's yes. just, she evolved. She evolved past that. She yes, evolved past that. Yes. That's the fact. That's the fact. Yes. That's the fact. That's the fact. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. It says, but women the same too, Michelle. Loads of women out there single because of one man. So I think that was in reference to... Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah. You're, you're, that's true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, there are loads of people like that. Someone else said, that because they need healing. True, Alicia, and we women can't heal them. Not always, yeah. That's true. Sometimes mm-hmm. it takes, you can help. It takes mm-hmm. them to come out of the relationship. Sometimes it's not even healthy holding, holding them, in, them that in the relationship. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it they have to come out to learn. Yeah. Yeah. And then, if anything, you can come back together. Yeah. If it just keep be. repeating yeah. over and over and over, it does yeah, not make, make sense. any sense. That's true. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. doesn't. Mm-hmm. It just You just hurt yourself more and more. Mm-hmm. And if you've got children, you're hurting them as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. yeah. 
You hurt them. It's often with good intentions, you know, like you were saying, yes. initially you wanted to keep the family together. Of course. Not realising that in keeping them together, it was doing more harm than more good. More damage. But usually yeah. it comes from good intention, I would say. It does, mm. it does. But mm. it, it, it just all comes with experience and learning. And, you know, this is why we have shows like this, so that people can express and let people know that, look, you know, you might be with a guy for or a woman for 10 years and that person has cheated for nine years out ooh, of the 10. that would, ooh. Yeah. So then my whole life would be a lot, ooh, that would, would be, be a really, lie. really hard but for me happens. to digest. It happens all the time. That's crazy. Ooh, I don't even want to think about that level of hurt. But it happens. It's, it's a lot. And some people put up with it, they know they've been hurt. How and everything, you but they still put up with it. face night after night? Kiss me, tell me you love me, then go out. That's, like, no, that's a different level, man. But that's like, a different I can't level. Do it. But this said that's where narcissists and stuff like that come in, I think, as well. Mm. Narcissistic behaviour. They don't have to be fully fledged ones, but behaviours, traits. Mm. Because... I tried to cheat once, like you know, a cheat back. <laughs> <laughs> I was young, I was in my twenties, I was cheat back. I was such a mug, like I went to my other ex's house. And then I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was just like, I think he thought it was going to be his lucky night, but I was like, yeah, I'm busting out. And then I remember in the cab home just being like, baby, I love you. Calling him. I felt guilty. Yeah, and yeah. I didn't even do anything. So I'm like, how can you do that? Yeah, how crazy. can you do that? The way my heart was hurting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, does he know I'm in the cab? Does he know what area I'm in? Does he know where I'm I am? I'm a bad person. I'm so sorry. But like, I really, like, I felt some type of way. So I'm thinking, how do these men, like, they're built of something else, man. Yeah. just to yeah. look in someone's eyes because they don't have the attachment cry. we get attached they don't get attached like that so that goes back to what Kieran that's was what Kieran was saying yeah. they don't have that attachment no but hear what Kieran was saying about the begging back because they do the madness yeah and then I've had them but like big grown strapping man crying 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 you don't have to say to them but you're crying because you've been caught or yeah. are you crying because you're sorry which one you're you're sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you're sorry. Sorry. or are you crying because you're homeless so you need something to <laughs> Like, what I'm saying, which one is it? Like, there's a whole load of reasons why men start praying, I'm telling you. Do you know what was mad, yeah? One next relationship that I was in, had a bit of bad luck in the past. It will change now. Um, no, but one next one, when I found out that he had cheated, I remember my friend, she was very heavily pregnant. Her and her partner came round to, like, you know, just cheer me up. Because I was so distraught, I couldn't yeah. even believe it. And he literally gave me the rundown of what was going to happen on my life everything, everything he said was going to happen he was like first of all he's going to keep phoning down your phone as we were speaking <laughs> message <laughs> he said then he's going to come around and it'll be crying he's just going to cry he's going to cry he's going to tell you he's sorry he's going to tell you it didn't mean nothing that he loved everything happened as he said it then he, and then he said that then he would do it again so we went through every phase game. I did get back with him oh, what happened he's done he it, again. it again and I thought I hold on a minute my G I'm not gonna say his name but <laughs> you're too good you the, the way you gave me the breakdown made me maybe you you're a pro yes, it's you're a a, and his pregnant woman was saying look I can't even manage things like this babe so I beg beg you never do <laughs> so I can't even manage <laughs> things <laughs> like oh, this oh, no. No. don't ever do this that he had written a book. This is it. I'm going to leave this. Scene by scene, it all played out. The tears, the begging. Well, we nearly done. Yeah. We've been given the fingers. Is there another quick topic topic that we can do for the last 10 minutes? We can touch upon um, abuse because we're going to do that in our... A separate show, yeah. A separate show, yeah. But... I felt it's a really important one because mm -hmm. abuse isn't just about your partner, sexual partner, whatever. It also entails your family members, it entails your friends. It could even be somebody at work. Somebody, somebody ringing. ringing? Oh no, it's a message. Oh, message. Oh, someone sent a so message. So my question is, if men just think with their penis, why do some men promise the world to you with no intentions of... Okay, let me just read the whole thing. Oh, it's a long one. I'll go on. Oh, let's All right, hear it. let me start again. 
So my question is, if men just think with their penis, why do some men promise the world to you with no intentions of never wanting to be with you a hundred? And if you fall for the whole shebang of lies and then it's your fault if you get pregnant by them. Like I lay down and I got into that situation by myself when fully aware no protection was being used by both person. Um, you were just horny that night. I don't know what you want me to say. That don't mean that. That don't mean that the men don't start, don't think with their willy. I mean, you chose to lie down with him, yes. But why did you choose to lie down with him? Read it again. No, because that, I... that's not drop it like that. Because that puts ownership on the woman, and it's not. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but she's putting it on the woman. She's saying, yeah, men think with their penis, but what about when we lie down with men with no protection? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 If men just think with their penis, why do some men promise the world to you with no intentions of never wanting to be with you a hundred? And you fall for the whole shebang of lies and then it's your fault if you get pregnant by them. Like, I lay down and got into that situation by myself, fully aware no protection was being used by both parties. Mm -hmm. No, but I don't get what you got from that. I get... I, felt, I thought she was being a bit sarcastic towards... but Like, like I lay I... down and got... Pregnant. Yeah, and I feel like it was a case the person has said to her all the right things, has told her that, you know, I'm going to be with you, I'm going to be whatever. Yeah. So she's saying, so when, if they know that's their intention, why bother then? Oh, why yeah, why bother? Why not just say Why not just say from the beginning? Because, okay, so this, all right, looking back maybe on the list a bit, but also me, one thing I did always say to my husband is, I'm not looking for a friendship. As in, if we're going to chat like that, it has to be marriage. So if you're not ready for marriage, that's not, we're not talking yeah, about those you got lucky me alone. Leash. You got lucky, Liz, no, no, because there are, I don't think there aren't a lot of women out there who are not being very clear about what they want. It's just they say what they want and the man will feed you a bag of lies like I'm on the same thing with No, but you. then it's also for you to now watch for the red flags because I believe they do come. Oh, yeah, I yeah, 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 so, yeah, so yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You've, yeah, yeah. you've yeah, laid yeah, out. Yeah. I'm not saying that if yeah. you say to a man, yeah, because I want to get married and they're not going to be like, all right, I'll just get married to please. I'm sure yeah. that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, you're telling them what it is you want of this relationship. Yeah. So if you're really not onto the marriage thing, let's not go there. We can chat. The but... problem is, if I'm really onto it and my counterpart is saying, yeah, 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 baby, I want this too, mm -hmm. and it's walking the walk, but and okay, so the talk. Let's see how far they walk the walk because I don't believe they will walk the walk fully with you you're gonna start seeing certain signs like when you're talking about wedding or marriage and then it's like there's excuses coming up or yeah. whatever the okay, issue okay. is they do. or you're but talking about excuses. Yeah. The, our list you yeah. start talking about your list and then you start realizing well actually he's not really on my wavelength here and but going back to the text because i think her point was why on earth if it's just uh all about the willy thing you're just sexing for sexing why lay down with me bareback knowing potentially we can make a baby together that keeps us bound together if you knew it was only ever going to be sex? Take the sex out of the beginning of your relationship. Take the sex out and then walk with that person for however long. And You'll see who's really riding when you're not putting This is out. it. This is it. And I think sometimes, <laughs> for real, a lot of that's women, true. I'm not trying to say women are loose, don't get it twisted. And sometimes it, it may just be that's why you want to be with that person. There's nothing wrong yeah. with it. But if you generally know that it's marriage you're after, just hold out a bit and just yeah. see how this goes. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. wrong in that. I'm yeah. not saying that you could get with somebody and have sex with them and that it doesn't work out perfectly. No, I hear what it's... you're saying, but it leads me, because I think sometimes once we start entering into sexual relationships, I'm not even going to lie, in the past, I've stayed in relationships a lot longer than I should have. Because of the because sex. Because it was great. <laughs> in a nutshell, yeah, it was yeah. great. That's happened to me before And well. I think if that had been removed, yeah. the fog would have yes, been gone. Really good. And I could have been able to make a more time yes. decision. Yeah. But the power of the tea sometimes, yeah. you know. So it I think, you know, I, I hear there's a lot of, True. I hear what you're saying. True. I hear what you're saying. If we can just remove that, and work on knowing one another as individuals without yeah. any interference of any outside things and yeah, yeah. then I think you see who's really riding and talking who's not. more. No yeah. more Netflix and chill. Talk. Sorry. Talk and I'll watch T V. Ah, this is a good one. What are you laughing for, Kieran? <laughs> But just sex is creating soul ties, so that is that even... Yes, sir! That's a conversation. Yes, and yes, I wanted to touch it. Time. I yes. wanted to touch it because I was going to say, when you are even just 
in you know interacting with a person your spirit starts feeling certain things if you start feeling like something right here yeah yes, listen, listen listen to your spirit can you imagine your man Every time he's laying with different different people and coming back to you, how much to energy you. And all he's that bringing energy to you, to you. Feel something. And I'm not I... making an informed decision about this energy entering no. my. No wonder there's so much polycystic ovaries and endometriosis. And we could put science on it, but I put it down to just energy and mixing up, mixing up, and we don't even know who we're mixing up with. That's right. You yeah. don't even know it's who. It's true. Like you've got to realize that when a man sees a woman, you. Yeah, there's certain women that are easy. You can just have sex with them. And there's certain women that you have to be in a relationship with them to have sex with them. Mm, mm, mm. A man will see a woman get into a relationship just because he wants to have sex with her, get into a relationship with her mm. just to have sex with her. Mm. You do realise you do realize that, right? Yeah. So at the end of the day, when, it's, when you're talking about how, oh, why did he get in a relationship with me and not be a hundred with me is because he just wanted to have sex with you. But mm. the requirements to do that is to be in a relationship with mm, you. Mm. So we, have, we went through all of that just to do that. And yeah. That's what men are like. That's what men are doing. And we're at the end. Uh, we're at oh, the end, end you yeah, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> I was so, so enjoying that. Uh, good, I good can't episode, believe good that episode, we're good. over. We're done already. Time is up for us. So, uh, thank you guys so much for joining in and sending messages and you know interacting um we're going to be as i said we're going to be back on um just just after christmas right i thought earlier you said this was the last one this is the last one, one but we might oh, we're doing do a christmas special like a christmas holiday special holiday special holiday special holiday special, holiday special. Holiday special. Holiday special. Holiday special. Holiday special holiday special mm-hmm. we might do a little holiday special where mm-hmm. we have quite a few different guests coming and we're going to mm-hmm. be talking about various different topics again and um we might just have a new year one a one-off new year one as well so thank you guys so much mm-hmm. for joining in with us today and um happy holidays happy yeah. holidays people happy holidays. have a good one enjoy your weekend enjoy yourself and see you guys next time Watch out for notifications. This is really irrelevant, but I really love your cheekbones. (laughs) No, I'm just getting the side angles, your cheekbones, guys. Oh, before we go, I want to big up, I want to big up, um, Sinead on Snapchat. She's locked in. She's off my Snapchat. Oh, Big up yourself. Shut up. (laughs) Bye. See you guys. I need a wee wee. We're still on. Oh, oh, not really. (laughs) (laughs)